In this lesson, we are going to practice the fast erase strategy. In fact, by the time we are done, you will be able to say, I can use the fast erase strategy when I divide. Let's get started. Our first equation is 32 divided by 8. Watch as I demonstrate this strategy for you, and then you can try it um, with me on the next page. So, 32 divided by 8. We know that we have rows of 8 in our array um, according to our equation. So, let's make a row of 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. There's my row of 8. Now, I don't know how many rows I need, but I do know my total is 32. And that means if I was actually drawing all of the circles for this array, that I would have a total of 32 circles right here in my array. But since I don't know the number of rows that I need, um, I can't draw them out. So that's how the fast array strategy can help us figure it out. Now, we know that we have a row of 8, and we are going to count our rows of 8 until we get to 32. So our first here is 8. I'll make my next circle a little bigger, so that's advice to you to do the same thing. And I add another, again, imaginary row of 8. I don't, I'm not going to really do all 8, but I'm going to put one there that shows I have another row of 8. And if I'm counting by 8, that's 16. All right, so I draw another circle, which represents a third row of 8. And that would be 24. And I make another row of 8 again. That one here represents a whole row of 8. And a fourth 8 count by is 32. And I stop counting here because I know this is my total. All right? That is my total. Now, to get my answer, I go back and I count how many rows of 8. One two, three, four. So 32 divided by 8 equals 4. All right, let's work together with this one. Today you're going to need a pencil and a piece of notebook paper. So if you would get those supplies um, and come back and then we'll work through this e um, equation together. So stop the video, press play when you're ready to go. All right, let's give this equation together, um, making a fast array. Um, let's look at our equation. We have 48 divided by 8. Again, we know that we have 8 in our rows. Um, we know our total in the array, but we don't know how many rows we have. So let's make a row of 8 together. So use your pencil, and on a line in your notebook, make eight circles. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as I already told you, we know that if we were going to draw the whole array, we would have 48. So let's put this 48 here in the middle to remind us that. Now what information is missing? Yeah, we don't know how many rows of eight we count to get to our total 48. So let's draw a circle or more of an oval to represent that is the missing information. All right, so now we're going to count by eight because that's how many are in the row and let's add another row here. And so I have eight, 16, add another row. That takes us to 24. And again, if you want to pause the video and get your skip counting sheet, um, you can do that and come back. 
um, but let's draw another row of eight. 32, another row of 8, 40, another row of 8, 48. I'm going to stop because now my rows, my last row of 8, um, if I had drawn it out, would equal 48, which is the number I know for my total array. So now we're going to go back and count our rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 48 divided by 8 equals 6. Let's do one more together. Here we have 42 divided by 7 equals something. Now if I look at this equation, I know that I have 42. And when I make my whole array, I would have 42 dots. Now this time, I don't have rows of 8. What do I have? That's right, I have a rows of 7. So let's start by making one row of 7. Alright, so there is your row of 7. In fact, I should label that so I remember that that is a row of 7. Now, what other information do we know? Yep, we know we'd have 42 of these circles if we made the full array. But since this is a fast array and we don't know the number of rows of 7, let's go ahead and draw that long oval. And let's start counting our rows of 7 to see how many it takes to get to what number? 42. All right, so my first row is 7. Let's draw another row of 7, and we have 14. A third row of 7 is 21. A fourth row of 7 is 28. A fifth row of 7 is 35. A sixth row of 7 is 42. I'm going to stop there. Why? That's right, because my last row of 7 got me to 42, which is the total number of circles we would have if we made the full array. So now to get my answer, I go back and count the number of rows. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 42 divided by 7 equals 6. Is this strategy making sense for you? If you want to rewind the video and listen to it again, please do that to make sure that you understand what to do. If you're ready to go on, then what I'd like you to do is solve these equations using the fast array strategy. I want you to turn to um, the back of the piece of notebook paper that you have been working on while we practiced on this video, and I want you to write these four equations. 54 divided by 6 equals, 63 divided by 7 equals, 24 divided by 6 equals, and 56 divided by 8 equals. And I need you to write the fast array strategy to show how you would get the answer for all four of these equations. And you need to hand this um, sheet into your teacher when you are finished. I know you'll do a great job. And as I said before, if you're confused about the strategy, rewind the video and watch it again. Um, and I'm sure that will remind you what to do. Do a great job, and I look forward to seeing your finished work.